Hi guys, this is Mango Man. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use your PC to stitch the photo you take from DJI manually. Sometimes the DJI app fails to stitch the photo and with program on your PC, you can do it on your own. So, first of all, you have to download this program called Image Composite Editor. So, it's a free program you can download from Microsoft and just Google this name, Image Composite Editor and open the program, click New Panorama and navigate to your file Panorama, New Panorama and it's in folder 13A go to 13A and go control A to select all open and then there's one two three four step just keep going next 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 and you'll be able to do it so let's do the first one next and the first part will be taking the longest time so here I'm going to pause the video recording and once it's finished I'll recording again okay so the stitching process just finished and the next step is don't touch any of this just press next and let the cropping finish this part should be fairly fast isn't it frustrating okay is ready now let's click this auto complete it will crop out this this dark area almost done almost done now it's perfect let's go to export for image size, you want to scale down to 50%. This is going to drop the pixel so it's easier to edit later on. And image file, JPEG compression, let's use 90. And export to disk. Put it onto desktop, easy to find. And I'm going to call this one DJI test. Save it. Okay, now I can close this program. And once you got the picture, it is not ready yet because it's missing the top part. So to do that, to fix that, you have to use an image program. Now I'm using Photoshop to show you. So any image program can do it as long as you can change the image size and adding the top portions recreate the sky area. So now it's finishing loading. I'm going to drop it in Photoshop. So I go control A to select all and then go control C to copy. And now I go control N for new window. And here I just control V to paste it. Oh, hold on, made a mistake. I need to go control N for new window, but here I have to change to 10,000. And the bottom one should be 5,000. Basically the ratio here should be two and here should be one. So it can be 8,000, 4,000, and I found 10,000, 5,000 easier to work. So the ratio must be correct in order for the 3D viewer to recognize it. And now I go control V to paste it. And then I want to move it down to the left bottom corner. And I have to make this a little bit bigger because I increased the uh, side of the canvas 
So here, make sure you snap to the screen. That's it. Now we have to recreate the sky in this area. So we go select the white area. And then use the color picker to pick the color from the sky, the very top color. And then you do a uh, fill using the foreground color. Go OK. Control D to deselect. Now you have to fix this line here. It's going to look weird in the 3D viewer. So to fix that, use the selection tool. Select this Y line area. And then go to select and then feather. So that it's a little bit blurry, kind of gradient transition. 25, that's good. And then go to filter. Blur, motion blur. See? Depending on the strength of the motion blur, you can still see some of the uh, line. So you can adjust this on your own so that you don't see the sharp line. Okay, that's good. See, now the sharp line is gone and you recreated the sky. It's time to save the file. Go save as. And then change to JPEG Park Panel Final. Save it. OK. So once you have your photo render, you edit the sky, then you can load it into the viewer to see it. You can download this Recall Theta program. Just Google it. It's a free viewer for 360 photo. And now you can see the 360 image that you make. And very likely you want to post it onto Facebook. And before you post on the Facebook, you have to add the meta tag. So by going to detail and then camera, Okay, my computer was acting weird, so I'm back. So going to the property, scroll down to the camera position. Camera maker, here you type recall. This will allow the Facebook app, when you upload to Facebook, Facebook will recognize this file as a 360 photo. If you don't do that, Facebook will see it as a flat image. So once that's done, you upload this file on Facebook and your friend can see what you make. So that's it. Please thumb up the, this video if you learned something. Subscribe to my channel.